Penny Kirk of the U.S., just two years away from her win at the Junior World Championships. The ride has been rewarding since then, but certainly not easy. Last season, Boston's Jenny Kirk burst into the senior ranks with an impressive year. By her side was her mother, Patricia, who saw the great potential in her daughter. After six years with the Boston Ballet, Jenny decided she wanted to skate. Her mother would drive her hundreds of miles each week so she could train. But this past August, following her three-year battle with breast cancer, Jenny's mother passed away. I was able to say goodbye to her and hold her hand, and I went to bed that night, and the next morning I woke up and she had passed away. I think about her all the time, and every time I'm on the ice, she's with me and she's pushing me no matter how much I kind of want to go home and think about everything. I just keep it in perspective because I know that's what she would want me to do. Jenny has handled her loss with strength and grace far beyond her 17 years. I think the hardest thing is kind of the change. Um, going to these competitions and not having her with me and not having it be like it always was. But I have such a great support system from my family and my friends and I have so many people who are helping me. Jenny says she's found a renewed purpose to her skating now. Stepping out onto the ice today, she continues her journey of someday reaching Olympic glory. When my mom was sick, there would often be times where it was really hard for me because I realized there was nothing that I could do to help her. But now I know that she's not suffering anymore and she's with me. So I want to dedicate this year to her. The next competitor is Jennifer Kirk. USA. Well, a very mature perspective for Jenny Kirk, even though this has been a heartbreaking year for her. She has a chance now, though, to win the gold medal. Seventeen-year-old in third place after the short program. Remember, the short is worth one-third, the free skate worth two-thirds. So if you're in the top three heading to the free skate and you win that portion of the competition, you win the gold medal. The ever-important triple lutz double toe combination. Very well done. Some judges may deduct for a slight change of edge that she has on the entrance but the position in the air was very, very accurate. Now she's going for the triple toe, triple toe, and she opted out of the second triple toe loop. Not feeling comfortable enough to do those two jumps back to back. We saw her at the national championships in January in L.A., where she came in fifth. Remember, she's been dealing with an injury this season. Tendinitis in her left ankle, which she says was caused by a boot problem, and she has now gotten a new pair of skates. Trying to win for the first time internationally on the senior level. Injuries can be such a distraction, and they can really play on your confidence. She's been able to really push through all of that. At Sue's, part of the reason for that, I talked to Evie Scottfeld, her coach, and 
in their training camp, they actually do what's called double run-throughs. Not only do they do the program once in practice, but then they turn around and do it again, so it really builds up the stamina and endurance. Very pretty layback position. The knee and the ankle are parallel to the ice. She has so much speed at the end of this program. Last triple, the sow cow. The triple sow cow, very nice right there. And she can see it on her face. She's pretty happy with this performance. Nice low position on the back sit spin. <laughs> She's got to be thrilled. That's as well as we've seen her skate all season long. Absolutely, and that was a well-balanced program. She not only has some nice jumps, but she's very artistic. She's very musical when she's interpreting the music. Really nice to see. Jenny's opening combination, the triple lutz double toe, very difficult, but watch here. The left foot is taking off of the inside edge as opposed to the outside edge. The judges call that a flutz and consider that a deduction. But her air positions are quite beautiful, very straight, very tight through the feet. She bends forward a little bit on this landing, but the energy throughout her program, her spins, her footwork, it's a complete program. And this is only the second time she's performed it this year. Outstanding. Well, she's trying to come from behind, but with one skater still to go, she's got to have higher marks than Yoshie Onda here in the first set for technical merit. Up to 5.7, a couple of those. The low mark, 5.3. And now for presentation, Peter. And this is where she really shines. Look at a 5.8 from the Belgium judge. Remember, six is the perfect score, so she's done very well here. The judges' placements, all of them. First place ordinals for Jenny Kirk, and she is currently in first place overall. 